Hello, Leo, and welcome to your Who's Coming Toward You reading. Remember that this reading does not necessarily have any specific date on it. Whenever this message finds you, and whenever you find this message, then this reading will be for you at this given time. Starting this week with the dominant energy of the drum roll. Wow, the Six of Cups. So for a group of you guys, only for a group of you guys, the past is here to say, hello, I miss you. And I've thought so much about reaching out to you. My heart is telling me, just do it. Just tell how you feel. But then something stops me, okay? Something here is stopping this person. We're going to figure out what this is. And for another group of you guys, you guys are about to meet somebody that feels like home. And why does this person feel like home to you when you meet them? Because this person and you, both of you guys, have met each other in a past lifetime. It's those unexplainable kind of situations, those kind of unexplainable kind of connections where you cannot explain it. You cannot put your finger out here and like, my God, this person's not even my type. Why am I so attracted to this person? Because there is a karmic debt that is going to be reconciled this week or at this moment. Let's go and see what this is all about. All right. What's going on in your vicinity? So I do see the Eight of Swords here. So the Eight of Swords, somebody here is kind of justifying something that is not really justifiable, okay, that is keeping them from moving forward. Whether this is you or the other person, this Eight of Swords does represent a person who thinks that they're stuck in a situation or thinks that they're not able to make some kind of a move. They feel like, oh, woe is me, you know, victim mentality, but they're not a victim. I mean, literally this woman here that it looks like she's trapped. It looks like she's surrounded, you know, by, by eight swords. When in reality, those eight swords, yes, she's surrounded by eight swords, but those eight swords are the answer to her prayers. You know, it's kind of like that energy where, you know, this person right here is sitting here in denial. Okay. This blindfold is denial. This rope that is tied around her waist, around her body is denial. What this person needs to, you know, be guided towards doing, or they are being guided towards doing doing is basically facing a fear. This person here, what they need to do is face some kind of fear, face some kind of denial, grab one of these swords representing a truth. I mean, literally each and every single one of these swords represent a truth. Okay. If this lady, if this, it could be male or female grabs one of these swords, cuts off that blindfold, cuts off that rope. Guess what? She's free and she's liberated. She is not a victim of her own circumstances. Now I do see here that you are standing in your power, in your strength. You will start to know your worth. You will start to know your value, but until after you realize that there is some kind of fear that you have to face. Okay. Because this facing this fear is going to lead you to getting your wishes granted to getting your your wish fulfillment. I do sense that it's going to come across as a little bit revealing. Okay. There's going to be some kind of revelation that might trigger you. Okay. There's going to be something here that might trigger you, or it might trigger something within this other person or this situation. There's some triggering energy about to happen. Okay. But this triggering energy is needed. It is necessary so that you can finally bring it up to the open, heal it and transmute it. Otherwise it's going to be hidden in there and you're going to be going round and round in circles in the same kind of way, asking yourself, why doesn't this situation change because there's some kind of denial that somebody here has to face whether this is you or the other person. Now look at this, the lovers, you guys, you guys are getting a lot of beautiful energies, the lovers here, a beautiful connection about to happen. This is a kind of like relationship harmony, harmonizing a connection, whether it's career related, family related, love related, a loyal and harmonious relationship or a partnership is being manifested at this moment. It's a beautiful, strong bond. This is big, big energy. Look at this. This is big energy. You guys coming in for you, a strong bond between friends, between lovers, between partners that is growing and is blossoming. So remember to nurture this relationship with no judgment to self, with no judgment towards the other person and with no judgment towards the situation and also no high expectations. Because if you put your expectation, expectations way too high, you're not allowing the universe to unfold this way in a more natural way, which is going to benefit you more. Okay. In the, in, in the outcome, in, 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 in the long term. Now I do see that there's going to be justice in the situation. Somebody here is watching the other person from the outside. They're either kind of like stalking your social media. Maybe this person has looked you up online to see what you've been up to, or maybe you've been looking them up to see what they've been up to, but there will be justice in this situation. Justice will be served. Like I said, the universe executes a very precise order of justice, and there is a karmic debt that is being reconciled at this very moment. Now let's go ahead and see what the six of cups is all about for you. What is the six of cups? Okay. So whoever this person is, they do see you in their future. Yes. Maybe it didn't happen in the past. Maybe it was a wrong timing. Maybe this person is a brand new 
new person coming in, whatever the case may be, it wasn't meant to be in the past. This situation was not meant to happen in the past. Whether it was you finding the love of your life in the past, whether it's you finding your passion project, your passion career, whatever you're passionate about in the past, it was not meant to happen. It was meant to happen now. Okay. It is kind of manifesting now for the future. So remember, don't take this too seriously. If despite maybe your best attempts, your best, you know, your best kind of efforts, the outcome is not what you want it to be right now, or it wasn't what it, what you want it to be. It was never supposed to be, be, to be good with. Basically it was never supposed to be yours to be good with because the world has something better for you. Now I do see that there's somebody here working on themselves. They're working on them. They're unfulfilled dreams, their unfulfilled desires in order to kind of stabilize their, their emotions, or maybe they're stabilizing themselves on a financial front. Maybe this person is a business owner, whatever this is, this is a person here kind of working on themselves, working on their career because they want something better for themselves. It could possibly be you. Okay. Now I do see that there's going to be an apology or a gesture of love about to come into your life. It could be as simple as you meeting a person, a stranger, you know, just out of the blue. And this person starts talking about the most random randomest situation that happened to them. And you're like, Oh my gosh, that is literally the confirmation that I needed from a stranger. I mean, literally it come, it can come from a stranger, you know, but it can also come from a person that, you know, it could be a gesture of love. It could be somebody here liking a picture on your social media, watching your stories, that sort of thing. But it's an energy here that you have to ask yourself, what is this energy bringing into my life? Because people don't give you these experiences. You ask for them from them. Okay. Right now you are going to be asking subconsciously consciously for an experience from this person because you are going to become a vibrational match to this experience. Okay. So I do sense that there's going to be kind of like this moment where you can ask yourself, okay, why are you attracting this energy into your life? Because it's definitely serving a purpose. Now, what purpose is this energy coming into your life serving? What purpose is it healing something within you? Is it transforming something within you? Is it helping you realize that you are worthy, worthy of something that you thought you weren't worthy of? So ask yourself, what you have been thinking about, okay, in order to get your answer. Now, let's go ahead and see what exactly this lovers is all about. What is this lovers for this week? Okay, so there is a person here holding on to a secret. They're holding on to a secret. This person does not like to show vulnerability. This individual does not like to show any kind of um, expression about love or about how they truly feel, whether it's job related, career related, friend related, you know, family related, love related, whatever it is. This personality type comes across as very very logical, very practical. They approach the situation in a very logical way, but that's because they're hiding a deeper meaning. Okay. So remember to read between the lines with this person because somebody here feels something very deeply, but they're denying it. Okay. Or at least they're not showing it fully like how it's supposed to be because look at this. I mean, literally we're clarifying the lovers. You guys, this is a divine connection. This is a very powerful, powerful connection coming into your life. Now I do sense that this person is holding on to a secret because they have trust issues. They don't trust the process. They don't trust you. They, maybe you don't trust them. Maybe this is you, whoever this person is, could be a Pisces, doesn't have to be, but they are dealing with some kind of trust issue. So we're going to be going into the extended reading to see who this other person is. Okay. Because they are taking their sweet time. <laughs> they are taking their sweet, sweet time to express these emotions because this person at the end of the day, when they finally do commit when they finally do express whatever they feel, wh whatever they're thinking, it's going to be for the long term. Okay. I know these energies are a little bit frustrating sometimes because it takes them a long time, but it's because when they finally make a decision, it's not one of those kind of whims that this person ends up regretting. No, no, no. This person has thought about this very thoroughly, which is why it's taking them a little bit more time. And I feel like the ending result is going to be the lovers here. Okay. A very beautiful connection coming together. So again, if you want to learn more about who this person is, their deeper thoughts about either personality, if you want to, you know, if you're interested in learning more about who this individual might be, or maybe their deeper thoughts about either deeper feelings for you, their next actions or next moves, go ahead and click on the description box below. The link to the extended is down there. That's where we do dive deeper into this person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about either deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. But before we do that, let's jump into your yes or no question. So as I shuffle, you will be getting a yes or no answer to your question. So is this a yes or no? Ask your question and concentrate. But before we do that, if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also hit that notification bell so that you are notified each and every single week that I post. I post each and every single week for every single Zodiac sign. So you guys, if you ever need a yes or no answer to your burning question, you can just click on this channel. You will all 
always get a yes or no answer at the end of every reading. Okay, so make sure to give this video a thumbs up to like, subscribe, hit that notification bell because it really helps me and it helps the algorithm so that I can continue posting more readings like these for you guys on this platform. Thank you all so much for your support and back to your question. Is this a yes or no drum roll? That is a definite no, okay? Could be a Scorpio, does not have to be, but something here is changing. Something here has has got to end. Basically, this is kind of telling you move on from something that no longer serves you. Strive for a bigger purpose. Do not see the lotus bud. See instead the lotus blossom. Don't focus on the moment, you guys, okay? Because this moment is going to be only temporary. The future is better than today, and I do sense that there is some kind of truth, some kind of revelation that you already know the truth to. There is a root cause where these obstacles are finally going to be crystallized in your mind, but it's also going to allow you to release, release, cut those cords that don't longer serve, that no longer serve you in order for you to kind of like forge a new relationship or a new opportunity for you. Okay. It could be a Scorpio it does not have to be, but this also rep represents transformation, a cycle that has completed itself or is getting ready to complete itself, but also to regenerate itself. Okay. A profound change that must occur for the time being for the better. Now let's roll the dice, see what the dice has for you. You have the number one, Wow, look at that. The number one is well, okay. Pay attention to none other than guess who? Number one, it's time. This is the week for you to give love to yourself. Self care. This week is all about self care, self love, okay. Make yourself feel comforted. If there's something at the back of your mind that you know you have had to do for yourself, do it this week. This is the week for you to do something for you, for yourself, okay. This is the week for you to either take yourself out to a massage, you know, spa treatment as simple as taking yourself out to lunch, buying yourself some flowers. You know, it really makes you feel alive again. It makes the, the atmosphere around you feel kind of like blooming again. So do something for yourself. It's going to benefit your energy. It's going to kind of like, kind of like take your energy up a notch, your vibration, kick it up a notch. Now, also the number one, the number one represents new beginnings, you guys. So if there's something here about to end or ending, there is transformation. This after an ending comes always, 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 a brand new beginning. So there's a brand new beginning here for you. And also this represents unity of some kind. Okay. Now let's go and get one affirmation and mantra message for you. What is your affirmation mantra message? Let's see what we have here. I release all doubts and insecurities about myself. So this is a week for you to work on those doubts, to work on those insecurities aligned with who you are. You know, it's sort of like the energy where you know what you want. You know that you're in alignment with what you want, but sometimes those little doubts creep in and you're like, well, wait a minute. Will this person want what I want? Will this person and recognize my worth. It's not the time to ask those questions. It's the time for you to release those, those doubts, okay? And insecurities about yourself and just align with your inner being and what you want is going to be attracted towards you, okay? So I release all doubts and insecurities about myself. This is what I have for you. Thank you so much for watching. And if you'd like to watch the extended reading, the link to the extended is down in the description box below. In the extended reading, I go into the other person's subconsciousness, their deeper thoughts about you, their deeper feelings for you, their next actions, moves, and more. And thank you all so, so much for all of your positive feedback for the extended reading. I am so glad that you guys are loving the extended reading so much. So again, if you want to check out the link to the extended, the link is down in the description box below. And I have partnered with Psychic Source so that you can receive receive 10 minutes for only $10 plus an additional three minutes for free. Remember to use my special code 26489 at checkout. I'm not the one doing the readings on Psychic Source, but you can choose any psychic of your choice. You can choose to either chat with them online or over the phone. Make sure to click on my special link that is down in the description box below, which will take you to the Psychic Source website. And there, remember to give them my special code 26489 to receive your full discount.